As you know, it's only April, but hurricane season will be around before you know it. Uh, researchers are expecting a more active than average Atlantic hurricane season, so now is the time to prepare. Chief Meteorologist David Paul joining us live in New Orleans, where the National Hurricane Conference is underway. And David, you heard from the folks who put together that annual hurricane outlook. Yeah, and today has been all about the science and technology of forecasting where these hurricanes are going to go and the increasingly critical role that AI, artificial intelligence, is playing in forecasting where these hurricanes are going to end up. I had a chance to talk with Dr. Philip Klosback. He is the leader of the hurricane forecast team at Colorado State University. Here's a little bit about what he had to say uh, about AI in computer modeling. An AI model is is, is different. I mean, so one of the advantages that it has is it's much, much faster because effectively the way an AI model works um, is it effectively like, it, so normally like if, if you know you have an equation and you basically like if you learn to solve an equation and if you effectively say, okay, here's how you solve this particular equation. Whereas an AI model, you basically just say, like, here's a whole pile of data. You figure out the equations from that. And that works really, really well on these shorter term or when you have a ton of data. Mm -hmm. So like on a day-to-day -day weather prediction. And so they've already shown quite a bit of promise, especially for track prediction for hurricanes and in a whole lot of other just broad forecasting of weather uh, conditions. Yeah, that. So here's the deal. Traditional physics-based models that we've been running on these supercomputers require data, pressure, temperature, humidity, all this data to be fed in, and then they're running these incredibly complex mathematical equations that take hours to resolve, but that's what's giving us our traditional hurricane forecasts, and they've been improving quite a bit over the past couple of decades. What AI is doing is it's not running those algorithms at all. What it does is it's looking back at all of the decades and decades of past forecasts and past analogs. So it's not running a computer model, it's just looking at what worked. When the storm was here, there was high pressure here, there was low pressure here, and where did the storm go when those conditions were in place? And that's what it's looking at. It finds all those examples of when a storm was there and where it ended up, and it learns to make a forecast from that. And those are getting better and better, guys. Very sophisticated kind of pattern wow. recognition. Wow. And are we seeing any real world success with the AI forecasting? So here's a here's a real interesting example. Last year, Barrel, there was a day, it was a 24 hour period where the European model was putting Barrel into Mexico, had a two or three runs in a row. Or the European, it's going to Mexico. <laughs> At the same time, the AI model was putting it into Texas, and that is exactly where it ended up. Of course, it ended up hitting Houston as a Cat 1 hurricane. So yes, we are seeing improvement. We've got years to go to get better at it, but that's what's going on, guys. Back right. to you. Fascinating stuff. David Paul in the Big Easy. All right, take it easy there.